Okay, we're gonna do lesson 3-5, eight as a factor. So when we have eight, we can look at it two different ways. We can break it up into five and three, or we can do four and four. Or we could even do two, 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 and two, and then add all of those numbers together. So there's a lot of different ways to do eight. And it just depends what you're comfortable with and what the other number you're multiplying by. But those, all those strategies will work for you. All right, to solve a multiple equation, equation that has eight as a factor, you can break it into two or more facts. You can use the fours facts. So this is eight. You can break it into, into the fours and then add those two together. Or, uh, and that would be splitting it into two equal groups. So let's look at this one, okay? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight groups, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in each group, okay? So we have eight times seven, okay? Now, first of all, there's a trick for eight times seven, and I'll tell it to you at the end when we get to the actual answer. But first thing we can do is one, two, three, four. We can split this right here at four groups of seven and four groups of seven. Okay, we can do it that way. Um, so four times seven, now you have to be able to figure this out though. If you don't know your fours yet, then you may not know four times seven. So if we're looking at four times seven, we could certainly split this into two times seven and two times seven. And we know that that's 14 and 14. So 14 plus 14, is equal to 28. So up here, this is 28, which makes sense. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And then if this is 14, that's 14 too. Okay, so 4 times 7 up here, this is 28. And this part down here, so the bottom half is 28. So 28 plus 28, you're going to have to figure that out off the side. Okay, pause it, add that together. Okay, and that equals 56. So eight times seven is 56. So my trick for eight times seven is that you go five, six, seven, eight. So eight times seven is 56, because we already have the, the seven and the eight. So the answer is five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, all right. So now, they're gonna break it up even further, okay? We're gonna break an eight times seven array into four twos facts, okay? So you draw a line up here, and you draw a line right here, okay? So you have a group of two, a group of two, two, and two. So this is two times eight. This is two times eight. Two times eight, and two times eight. Okay. Oh, um, what did I do here? Oh, it's, I'm sorry, two times seven. That's where I made my mistake. Here we go. This is not two groups of eight. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two groups of seven. Sorry about that. Okay, so we have two groups of seven, two groups of seven, and this one right here, two groups of seven, and two groups of seven, okay? And if you're looking here, like we did on the other one, that's an eight and that's a seven, right? You get two, 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 and two. Two, four, six, eight, which equals your eight, and then the seven stays the same. So two times seven, this one is 14, this one is 14, this one is 14, and that's 14. Now. Nobody knows 14 plus 14 plus 14 plus 14. Well, not nobody, but most third graders don't. Okay, so you have to add those up like that. So pause it, add those together, and then come back. Okay, so four plus four plus four plus four is 16. So my answer is 56, okay? All right, five, eight times nine, and use the twos facts. Okay, so... Let's use the back and let's draw an array for eight groups of nine, okay? So you have nine across, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Give yourself space so you can keep those lined up. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You have to take the time and get this right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and this is my last row. Okay, so this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight groups of nine. Okay, so pause it and make sure you have your whole array there if it's not done. Okay, so they want us to use twos facts, which means we need to break this up into groups of two. Two rows at a time, okay? So I want you to write your multiplication facts for each one of these, either over here or around the side, whatever is up to you, okay? So pause it and come back. Okay, so this should be two times nine, two times nine, two times nine, and two times nine, right? So let's look on the front here, okay? I want you to write eight times nine is equal to, okay? Parentheses plus parentheses plus parentheses, okay? Do that with the multiplication fact inside, okay? Now, our nines are gonna stay the same, right? So far, so good. This is basically nine and the nine and the nine and the nine. So the eight is what we're breaking up and we're gonna break it up into two, 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 and two, which should be the same as two times nine, two times nine, two times nine, two times nine, right there. Okay, so let's do it in this one. What's two times nine? 18 plus 18 plus 18 plus 18. Now, we need to add that, so you're going to, I would go to the back of your paper again, okay, and do 18 plus 18 plus 18 plus 18, okay? So I need you to pause that, pause the video, and add that up, and then come back when you're done. Okay. So I'm sure adding four eights was not uh, top on your list. You could, I mean, if you knew four times eight, you can do that. If not, you would do eight times, eight plus eight is 16 and 16, and then you could add 16 and 16 over here and get 32, okay? So two, carry the three, three, four, five, six, seven, okay? So eight times nine is equal to 72. Okay? Let's take a look at the bottom. Now, this you need to think about. Draw an array for eight groups of 10. Describe how you could solve eight groups of 10 by doubling a fours fact or by using the twos facts. Okay, now, again, if you really come across eight groups of 10, don't you know what that is? I think you do, right? You know how to do eight times 10. So I would never break up eight groups of 10 into, you know, four groups of 10 and four groups of 10 and add them together or two times 10 and two times 10 and two times 10 and two times, because you, you already know the answer, right? But just for fun, let's go ahead and do that just so that we understand the different ways. So sometimes with, with the books, what we do is we use a really easy problem to learn a strategy and that way when we have a harder problem, we already understand how to do the strategy. So. First thing we have to do is draw an array for eight groups of 10. So pause it and um, on the back, or if you have another piece of paper, just go, or you could squeeze it in down here. You just gotta write me little small little things, okay? And do draw an array for eight groups of 10.
Okay, now at the end, you always go back and count, make sure you did it right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have eight groups of 10. Now, obviously we know what that answer is, but let's see, how can you solve eight groups of 10 by doubling a fours fact? Okay, so they want us to, one, two, three, four, break this up into two groups of four, right? So can you write the two multiplication facts and add those together and see what you get? Pause it and come back. So you should have gotten four groups of 10 and four groups of 10. So that's 40 and 40. If you add those together, you get 80, right? So we would do four times 10 plus four times 10. And that would be 40 plus 40. And that would equal 80, okay? Now they also want us to consider using twos facts, which would mean we would split this up again, right? Okay, and we'd have to cross these out because these are no longer valid. So this is two groups of 10, two groups of 10, two groups of 10, and two groups of 10, okay? So with that, we would do two groups of 10 plus two groups of 10 plus two groups of 10 plus two groups of 10. And then we do 20, 20, 20, 20. So add those up, see what you come up with. So you can do it like this. So pause it and come back. Okay, and you should get 80, which is eight times 10. Okay, you obviously, you could have also, if it's eight groups of 10, you could do five groups of 10 plus three groups of 10. So there's a lot of different ways you can do that. All right, great job.